Meanwhile, Europe is uh, now preparing to counter a perceived Russian military threat. A NATO operation titled uh, Atlantic Resolve will see the deployment of thousands of American soldiers and tanks to the continent. However, ships carrying the first batch of troops were greeted in Germany by signs reading Army Go Home. In fact, scores of protesters marched through the German port city of Bremerhaven, urging an end to the alliance's sabre-rattling. Uh, the troops will now be heading towards the Russian border. Some protesters called the deployment a militaristic march against Russia. With the deployment of 2,000 vehicles and 4,000 soldiers from the US, all passing through Bremenhaven on the Russian border, I am here to explain peace to the Russians because I'm afraid of new wars. This big maneuver scares me and I'm here to speak out against it. Hello, before I start this video, I want to say that my voice is very strange because we have some virus spreading in UK and in Ireland. Doctors do not know what is causing it. There are many emergency rooms full of very sick people and the hospital officials saying that we all should stay at home. This is my red alert to you all. People's Bank of China weakens Yuan against the dollar by 0.87%. You know what this means? In simple terms, this means that billions of US dollars will be sent back to the Federal Reserve. When China is holding military drills in the South China Sea nearly every week and sometimes multiple times a week, we have Obama giving orders to transport military vehicles and military personnel from TS military bases in Germany. Obama gave an order to transport a record number. This number is not even specified of the military vehicles. The media simply is saying that it is a record number of US military vehicles. They don't give a number, they don't give a specific number, which is being transported now to Poland and then to Eastern Europe, in other words, to the border with Russia. The media is not giving the specific number of the military vehicles. Instead, the media is saying that there will be something like 900 wagons and ships loaded with the US military vehicles, which will be transported to Poland and then to Eastern Europe. 900 wagons is something like 9 miles or 14 kilometers long line full of military vehicles. Just ask this question, what is the real agenda behind all this? If we adopt all the military vehicles, warplanes, bombers, which has been transported by the US, UK and NATO to Eastern Europe in 2016 alone, this number it will be in thousands, and this number could reach up to 10,000 military vehicles, warplanes and ships on Russian border. If we adopt all the NATO bases on Russia's border, if we adopt the missile defense shield at least in Europe, just ask the simple question, what is the real agenda behind all that? In 2017, on any given day, the global internet network will shut down for 24 hours. Basically, you and me, we won't be able to share news on the internet. Just raise this question, what is the real agenda behind all that? What are they planning to implement during those 24 hours? I would say that they will carry out a direct provocation against Putin in a major way. My advice to you all, start thinking about stocking up on food, medicine and other essential supplies. This shit is going to go down very soon. This is part of what I meant when I, when I said that we've got to think about what's happening to our political culture here. The Russians can't change us or significantly weaken us. They are a smaller country, they are a weaker country, their economy doesn't produce anything that anybody wants to buy except oil and gas and arms. They don't innovate. America is great because America is good.
I'm reaching out to you for your guidance and your help who want and expect our government to serve the people and serve the people it will. Working together, we will begin the urgent task of rebuilding our nation and renewing the American dream. I've spent my entire life in business looking at the untapped potential in projects and in people all over the world. That is now what I want to do for our country. Tremendous potential. I've gotten to know our country so well. Tremendous potential. It's going to be a beautiful thing. Every single American will have the opportunity to realize his or her fullest potential. The forgotten men and women of our country will be forgotten no longer. America's rebalance. Trump's election opened a door to new global order. Donald Trump's win in the US presidential election has triggered a storm of questions. One of them is, what Trump's very first moves on the world's arena after the inauguration will be? There are two possible geopolitical paths which Donald Trump may follow after the inauguration. Either to further increase the tensions between the West, Russia and China or to choose a different path, which is a multipolar world with no empires. But this road will bring a total destruction of the United States economy. The name of the game is that the US elite cannot go to a direct confrontation against Russia, period. But they will use an indirect provocations. And this is what happens when the country tries to change its colonial constitution status and wants to become free from the colonization. I was talking about this in most of my videos. And this is only the beginning. The global agenda has entered into the last gear. And the global elite does not care any longer about who knows what. Knowing their potential plans is one thing, but at the end of the day, what are you going to do about it? Nuclear talks with the United States are impossible without reaching a mutually acceptable agreement on the global missile defense system, without finding a solution to the missile defense problem, without preventing a new arms race in space and making the nuclear test ban a universal treaty without settling the issue connected with the lack of balance in conventional weapons. The nuclear talks with the United States are impossible and they know about it and it has been officially announced before. Putin understands that the global scale of the missile defense system created by the United States and NATO is a real danger to not only the Russian security, but it is a real danger to the whole world, including you and me. When NATO members continue to build up their anti-missile potential in Europe as part of their so-called adaptive approach, we have Putin, who has repeatedly expressed his concerns over placing strategic infrastructure close to Russia's borders. Nearly at the same time when we had the US Marines training to invade California, we had the Missile Defense Agency and Navy testing the SM-6 missiles in Hawaii. The target missile represented a medium-range ballistic missile, something the US military is increasingly concerned about. The US Navy fired two Riton-built SM-6 missiles to intercept incoming medium-range ballistic missile targets during the training. The standard missile 6 or SM-6 is designed to intercept short-range and medium-range attacks at sea and replace the SM-2 Block 4 missile. 
This test showed the flexibility of SM-6 by providing both anti-air warfare and ballistic missile defense from sea. Combined with its anti-surface warfare capabilities, the SM-6 will play a significant role in protecting US and Allied forces at sea and on land. The test was part of the US Missile Defense Agency's sea-based terminal program, which aims to boost the ballistic missile protection using different platforms. The SM-6 missiles used in the test were integrated into the Aegis missile guidance system. Let's connect the dots on this map now. We have California here, we have Hawaii here, and we have South China Sea here. In this area on this map, we have unprecedented military buildup and military training not seen in our history. The problem is that all of this, it is not just a talk. Action has been taken, especially regarding Russia and China in recent weeks. Nuclear targets map shows dead zones all across America, as US Army General warns we are ready to confront Putin. World War III will be extremely lethal and fast. US Army generals reveal what could happen if the US will go to a direct confrontation against Russia or China. Many of you are leaving comments saying that WW3 will not happen. It is not possible. Let's discuss the real facts. First thing I want you to think about is that if you look at the United States, Europe, China and Russia, just think about that for a moment. How many hundreds of billions of US dollars, Euro and Chinese and Russian currency is being spent on preparation for possible confrontation? If those countries would rather spend that money on economic investment and development, the global crisis would be over the next morning. The second thing I want you to keep in mind is that a conventional conflict in the near future, it will be extremely lethal and fast. It will emerge from nowhere. Newly introduced legislation would ban the US Commander-in-Chief from authorizing a first nuclear attack without approval from the legislative branch. The issue of a nuclear first strike is more critical in light of the fact that a majority of Americans do not trust Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump having full control over the US red button. This legislation would prohibit the US president from launching a nuclear first strike without a declaration of war by Congress. The US Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Clinton during the campaign's first debate argued that Trump's position on nuclear weapons contradict the long-standing US policy given he has repeatedly said he did not care if other countries possessed nuclear weapons. Amid the growing fear of a possible nuclear confrontation between the superpower nations, the United States has upgraded its advanced and deadly rocket arsenal. In simple words, the United States of America is getting ready for confrontation. That is the real reason for upgrading deadly rocket system. While condemning Putin for his aggressive position in the Eastern Europe, Obama is preparing for something extremely special, as he upgraded the US long-range ballistic missile capable of hitting targets with superb accuracy. The major upgrade of US rocket system, which can hit targets both on land and at sea, was in response to Moscow's rhetoric. All this, according to some analysts, does more bad than good in increasing the tensions between Washington and Moscow. When Gerald Salente was warning us that WW3 is about to be unleashed to prevent the world's global financial crisis in our history. We had military units from Michigan, Latvia, Canada and Poland participating in the training called Exercise Northern Strike. They were in Michigan for the training that combined 
air and ground combat capability drills. The Michigan National Guard said that the first few days were mostly build up for the exercise before it got into full swing. The Guard said that about 5000 military members were participating in this training. Live fire exercises involving small arms, mortars, artillery and aerial defense were carried out.